Hi, I'm Mike Hanley with Cars.com. Hybrids are offered in nearly every segment of the market today, including the luxury class. Infiniti's entry is the M35H, a hybrid version of its M luxury sedan that costs 12% more than its gas-only counterpart, the M37, but gets 38% better gas mileage according to EPA combined estimates. While those fuel savings are appealing, the payback time remains long and driving this car means putting up with some peculiarities in the driving experience and also less cargo room. Mainstream hybrids like the Toyota Prius and Honda Insight have long used distinctive styling as a way to communicate their hybridness to the world. But the same concept hasn't taken hold in the luxury space and the M35H is a prime example of that because on the outside it looks just like an M37 apart from these hybrid badges on the front fenders. The M35H pairs a 3.5 liter V6 engine with an electric motor and the combination yields 360 horsepower total. This is a rear wheel drive car and the drivetrain gets 29 miles per gallon combined according to EPA estimates and that compares with the M37's 21 miles per gallon combined. And Infiniti claims this car can go up to 62 miles per hour on electric power alone when conditions are right. The M35H is quiet, it rides comfortably, and it accelerates swiftly. But like a lot of hybrids, you pay a penalty for the better fuel economy in the form of a sometimes unrefined driving experience. From the varying brake pedal feel to the eco modes deadening of the gas pedal, you walk away wishing for better, more predictable responses from the driving controls. The M35H's cabin, however, is an inviting place to pass the miles, especially when it's equipped with the $3,900 deluxe touring package like our test car has. I really like the leather that comes with this package. It has a premium feel to it. And there's also a simulated suede headliner and this white ash wood trim. The back seat continues the focus on comfort established by the front seats. I like the height of the seat cushion. The backrest is at a nice angle. There's good headroom and legroom for adult passengers. It's a comfortable space back here. However, there is a really substantial floor hump. So if you have three people across, they'll have to contend with that. With the hybrid, you lose 3.6 cubic feet of trunk room compared with the M37. And that's because of the hybrid system's lithium ion battery pack, which is located behind the rear seat. So it takes up the forward part of the trunk. The resulting trunk measures 11.3 cubic feet, but it's still big enough to carry things like a bulky stroller, a couple golf bags, but what you really lose is the extra depth you need to carry additional cargo. Just looking at the base price differences of an M35H and an M37, it would take nearly eight years to recoup the $6,050 price premium with savings at the pump. And that's assuming gas costs $3.90 a gallon for premium and you drive 15,000 miles a year. That's a long payback time, but one that some luxury shoppers might be completely fine with. 